Rupert. Hello. Um, what's with the hat? Well, he, today he's doing a ingredient recipe. Yeah. And and when, when I asked you before what we were going to do, mm -hmm. you said that it, we're going to be making merengues. So so I, I, I got this little silly Mexican hat with the little tiny balls on it, and I figured we can do the, the merengues. Well, I mean, I love your hat. That's really cute. But um, we're making meringues. Meringue. Yeah, you know, the little cookies made out of eggs. Oh, not the, not the merengue? Not the merengue, although we can dance later. Oh! Hey, silly. Meringues are very easy cookies to make. They're very light. Um, they're very tasty. I think you like meringues, don't you? I don't know. I never tried. You never tried a meringue? I never tried a meringue. Would I be wearing the hat if I knew what a meringue was? No, oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, meringues are made out of um, three ingredients, and they're very easy to make, don't take very long at all, and they are also light, uh, they don't have any fat in them, and uh, you can make them with any flavor you'd like. Ooh, like raspberry? Uh, you could you could put raspberry in it, uh, you could put peppermint in it, um, almond, anything. Straw baby! You could do it with straw babies, yes. Hey. All right, so why don't we get to the three ingredients for this recipe? Okay. So our first ingredient is... An egg! Right, three eggs, actually. Did you get it from chicken? Um, well, they do come from chickens. But not, not the chicken that we know. No, not the chicken that we know. She doesn't give us any of her eggs. But uh, we're going to use three egg whites. Three of them? Yep, three egg whites. What do you do with the egg yellows? Um, you can use the yolks for another recipe. We could make mayonnaise or there's mayonnaise. also... Mayonnaise. Yep. Also, is that three ingredients? I don't know. Uh, maybe. If it is three ingredients, then maybe we'll make mayonnaise next time. Ooh. To make our meringue sweet, our next ingredient is... Sugar! Yep. Sugar. We're going to use... Sugar uh, sweet. Sugar is sweet, and we're going to sweeten Yum. our meringues with this. Uh, we're using gra granulated sugar, three quarters of a cup. Three quarters of a cup. Yep. Uh, you can use super fine sugar if you want to make sure that it dissolves. It's very fine. Yes. Super fine sugar dissolves in the... It's fine by me. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. um, our uh, super fine sugar will dissolve better in the egg whites, but as long as you take a little bit of time and have a little bit of patience, you can use granulated sugar just fine. I'm being patient. Patient. Right here. I'm being patient. Very good. You're a good little pig. <laughs> what flavor would you like these meringues to be? Vanilla? Okay, well then our third ingredient is... Vanilla! Vanilla! We are going to use about uh, three quarters of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Everything's three quarters. I know, it's... Uh, mm. Yep, uh, we're going to use this uh, to flavor it with vanilla, but you can flavor it with other things. Like we said, if you have peppermint extract, you can have it mint. Peppermint. Yep, if you had uh, coconut extract, they could be coconut. Coconut. And also, if you want to make these a little bit more complex, you can also fold other ingredients into the meringues. Like straw babies. You could put straw babies into them. Uh, you could put chocolate chips. Those would be good. Ooh. Yeah, so uh, these meringues are very versatile and they're actually very easy to make. So why don't we go make them? Yay! The first thing we're going to do is separate our eggs. This works best with room temperature eggs. So either take your eggs out of the fridge if you refrigerate them, or if you are short on time, you can just put your eggs in a bowl of lukewarm water until they come up to room temperature. And then that will make it much easier for you to whip your meringues into a hard peak. Make sure to check your egg whites to make sure that there is no yolk or any shells in there. You don't want anything to interfere with it whipping and you also don't want any crunchy bits that aren't meant to be in the meringues when you cook them. If you have a stand mixer, this works really well, but I have a hand mixer, it's going to work just as well. Uh, we're going to whip these egg whites until they reach stiff peaks. What that means is if I turn this bowl over, they won't come out. This does take a few minutes, so just have a little bit of patience and make sure to turn it as much as you can. What you're doing is getting a lot of air into the egg whites. Oh, 
Okay, I'm pretty sure we've reached that stiff peaks uh, formation there. As you see, it's not coming out of the bowl here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my sugar and I'm going to add it in a little bit at a time uh, as I'm whipping these egg whites. Uh, what you want this to do is to become uh, fully immersed and you want the sugar to dissolve in the egg whites. This will take a bit of time, be really patient, um, and then we can add the vanilla after that. Okay, I've got all that sugar dissolved. Can you see that this now has a shine to it? Looks almost like marshmallow. That's what we really want. We want this to be nice, fluffy, have that shiny texture that means the sugar is dissolved. What you can also do is take just a little bit between your fingers, and then if you rub it together, if there's a little bit of graininess, you want to make sure that you get rid of that. This does feel a little bit grainy. I used uh, granular, granulated sugar instead of uh, super fine sugar, so I'm going to just whip this for another moment or two. The sugar is now all dissolved in here. As you can see, it's really sticking to my uh, beaters here. Uh, that's what you want. You definitely want this to hold its texture. I'm just going to add my vanilla now. Um, you can add any flavoring you want to this. Uh, mint works really well. Almond would be an interesting flavor as well. If you've got any sort of extract that you want to try in these, just add a little dash. Um, it's about uh, three quarters of a teaspoon or so, and uh, that will just flavor it. Just want to make sure that this is, is incorporated as well as you can. Now that this is all beaten together, I'm going to just drop this by teaspoonfuls onto a uh, cookie sheet, onto a greased cookie sheet, and then we will pop that in the oven. I have not done the best job at making these look presentable. Uh, these are going to look lumpy and a little bit misshapen. I don't mind that. If you want these to be perfect little cookies, you can put these into a pastry bag and use a star tip on your pastry bag. I don't care. I like them kind of rustic and I'm always in a rush to eat any kind of cookie. So this is now going to go into a preheated 225 degree oven for 25 to 30 minutes. What you're going to do is test the middle and make sure that it feels a little bit hollow. That means that this has dried out entirely. There are uh, meringue cookie recipes where you cook it at an even lower temperature for a longer period of time, but this uh, works very well for me. It's uh, quick, easy, and you get your cookies much faster. So we're gonna just put this in the oven now. These are out of the oven. I actually let them cool in the oven for a little bit. Um, they had to cook for a little bit longer than I normally cook them for. I think because I made them quite a bit bigger, but if you tap on them a little bit, you can hear that hollow sound. I don't know if the my camera can pick that up. Uh, another way that you can tell that these are done is that they are perfectly dry when you touch them, and they also don't stick at all to the baking sheet when you move them around. Um, now we're just gonna serve these up and I hope Rupert likes them. No, oh, you ate that really quick. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was yummy. Yeah. And, and sugary. Yep. And vanilla -y. Yep, and- Is that a word, vanilla -y? It is now. Oh, I made a word. He made a word. Hey. Um, because these are just uh, egg whites that are whipped up and then dried in the oven, whatever flavor you put into them is what's going to come out. So if you use vanilla, it's gonna taste like vanilla. If you use any other flavoring, it's gonna taste just like those. It's like magic. It is like magic. These are very very light. Uh, you can eat. You can eat probably a whole plate. We could probably finish off this plate tonight. Oh my gosh, Rupert! The entire plate is gone. Where did it go? It went in your tummy. <laughs> yeah, that tickles. Oh, uh, I bet you had a good time making these three ingredient recipes yeah. this week. Yes, I did. So we now eat the meringues, and we now we dance the meringue. That sounds like a good time. <laughs> Before we go off, is that is that a merengue song? Uh, I don't know. Okay, I'm uh, only three. You're only three. Uh, well, before we go and dance the merengue, how can people let us know if they've liked this uh, three ingredient recipe? Well, they, they can comment down below. Commenting down below helps a lot. Just let us know if you like this, if you've tried it, and if you'd like us to try any other uh, recipes to make as a three ingredient recipe. And you can 
Share with your friends. Sharing this video with your friends is very helpful. And if you want more three ingredient recipes every Thursday, you can subscribe. So thanks so much for joining me. I will be back next Thursday with another three ingredient recipe. Yeah. I may be joined by Rupert or by another friend. Probably another friend. Probably another friend. We like to make uh, make sure everybody... Everybody has... should take their turn. Everybody gets to take their turn. You'll so... be good yourself that way. Oh, that's right. Just like George. <laughs> he taught me that. He did. George yeah. is here every weekend to talk about being good to self. And on Tuesdays, I talk about long hair. It's, it's getting long. It is. It's getting long after my cut. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you again next time. Bye-bye. dance da, 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 da. Hey, hey, Rupert. Hello. <laughs> What's the hat all about? Well, it's three green recipe. Yeah. And today, you, you, you said that, that we're making merengues. So I, I have the funny little hat with a silly little... <laughs> 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 <There's our bl> <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs>